Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. I am a licensed hairstylist and in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be trying out the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I've been wanting to get my hands on this ever since I saw Olaplex announce this product and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me if I've tried it, what I think about it, so I thought let me just record my first impression of it. I do have a video already where I go over the entire Olaplex system. I break down products 1 through 7, no 0 through 7, sorry. If you haven't seen that already I will link it in the description. Feel free to go check that out. Like I explained in my Olaplex video, Video. The treatments that they've had up until now have all just been for repairing damage. They didn't have any kind of treatments that were just for hydration and moisture and a lot of people who just had dry hair that wasn't necessarily damaged would use the treatments and then be disappointed because they didn't feel any difference in their hair because they weren't meant for conditioning and hydrating. So now they have a product that is, so I feel like they're covering all their bases now. So it says that it's infused with the patented Olaplex bond building technology. This highly concentrated four in one reparative mask adds shine and body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair. So this is good if your hair's damaged and if it's just dry. And shine and body, I love the sound of that. So the directions say, apply it to clean, damp hair, mid lengths to ends, use sparingly on the roots, work through with fingers, leave on for 10 minutes, rinse fully and style as usual, use weekly for best results, start with two pumps for shoulder length hair, use more for longer, thicker hair, less for fine or short hair. Oh, and then the recommended tip says, for the deepest repair possible at home, use with number zero intense bond building hair treatment, plus number three hair perfecter once a week or as needed. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the number eight by itself because um, my hair really isn't damaged, but I do feel like it could always use a little bit more moisture. So I'm gonna show you what my hair is looking like right now. I washed it a couple days ago and I just let it air dry. I didn't put any product or anything in it. So you can see it's a little bit frizzy. A little bit dry on the ends and I did see on Olaplex's Instagram page they said that you can use this in replacement of conditioner so I'm just gonna shampoo my hair towel dry it a little bit get the excess moisture out so it's not dripping wet and then do this treatment and I do have the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo so I'm gonna be using this in combination with the number no. eight so that I'm you know getting the best results possible using their products only it kind of feels sticky like it almost feels like a styling gel like it feels like a leave-in product to me interesting i wonder if i could take like a little bit of it on the days when i wanted to wear my hair curly and just like run it through wet hair and use it as a leave-in i'm just gonna follow the directions today and just do it like a mask and then rinse it out um and i'll probably blow my hair out but maybe in the future i will try using it as a leave-in when i wear my hair curly so Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Maybe in a future vlog I will do that and I'll let you guys know how it works like that. So I just shampooed my hair and I'm just going to squeeze the excess water out of it. So we're going to one, two, I think I'm going to do four pumps. I'm always really heavy handed with masks and conditioners and I really want to concentrate it obviously on the ends where I have the most dryness and then whatever's left on my hands I'll just kind of rub it all over I think four pumps was perfect for the amount of hair that I have. Just kind of finger comb it through, make sure it's evenly distributed. So I just got my phone completely wet. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna finish the rest of my shower. Once those 10 minutes are up, I'm gonna rinse this out of my hair and I'll let you know how my hair's feeling. My hair's been sitting in this towel for 
I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. So let's see how it feels. To be totally honest, so far it doesn't really feel much different than it normally does when I get out of the shower after just using like the regular Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. So I don't know, I'm going to blow it out though because <coughs> hell fucking no. Oh fuck, where'd it go? That's it. Okay, crisis averted. It was a giant stink bug. Anyway, I'm going to blow my hair out straight because I haven't worn it straight in a while. And I feel like once it's dry, I'll be able to tell a little bit more if it feels any different, any softer, if it has more body, shine, you know, all the things that it claims to do. And I'm not going to put any additional styling products in my hair. I am gonna just use a heat protectant though. This is the Wella Thermal Image. And by the way, I did a first impression review on the Dyson blow dryer too. So if you didn't see that video and you'd like to check it out, I will link that in the description as well. I know when I started this video my hair was curly and it wasn't brushed so it's not a direct comparison I do feel like my hair looks pretty shiny and I think for not having anything in it it looks pretty good but I don't know I really it's not like a super dramatic noticeable difference if say I was at a salon and somebody else had washed my hair and I couldn't see what they were using or what they were doing, right now I wouldn't think that they did anything different. Like I would have just thought that they did regular shampoo and conditioner. But like I said, my hair starting out wasn't super damaged. You know, I take good care of it. I did get a haircut like about a month ago or so. So maybe if you were struggling with your hair a little bit more, it was damaged a little bit more significantly dry than mine was starting out with maybe this would make more of a noticeable difference but I don't know just from like a first impression standpoint I'm not really that impressed with it to be honest and I love Olaplex and I swear by all of their products I use numbers one and two at the salon on pretty much every client that I do color on and I always recommend number three as a take-home treatment the shampoo and conditioner, four and five, amazing. Those, I swear, the first time you use them, you will notice a significant difference. Like your hair will feel super soft after. But I don't know, this number eight treatment, I feel like I could live without it, honestly. And who knows, maybe I need to use it multiple times for it to really make a difference. I mean, maybe just doing it the one time isn't enough. But from my experience with all of their other products, like the shampoo and conditioner, the treatments, I've always noticed a immediate difference just after the first time. I will say if you are looking for a good hair mask that is going to add a lot of hydration to your hair, I love Joyco's K-Pack masks and conditioning treatments. They are amazing. This one I've been using for like the last month or so, the K-Pack Hydrator Intense Treatment for Dry Damaged Hair. The first time I used this, I noticed a really big difference. And I also really love the one that comes in like the maroon packaging, like the dark red. So I feel like, again, just based off my first impression, I would probably recommend the Joyco over this. 
because I don't know this was just eh, to me I am curious though like I had said earlier about trying it as a leave-in on the days when I wear my hair curly so stay tuned for that that'll be in one of my next videos so make sure you're subscribed turn on your post notifications so you don't miss when I upload if you like this video and you would like me to do more reviews then give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you would like me to review next and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video bye